Well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genetry Solar video, and in this video, I'm going to show you the new six kilowatt uh, power jet converters. These are pretty much brand new. Um, I think this was manufactured uh, about a month ago, and uh, yeah, so here we are with the uh, new inverter, and as you can see, it's uh, quite a bit different. First of all, Split phase is back. This actually does have split phase. So this is a split phase transformer. And it is a split phase inverter. And uh, interestingly enough, um, I did not know that they were going to be bringing back split phase, but I guess it was such a big problem um, that uh, they decided to bring it back. So... Um, if you are in the market for an inverter, uh, do keep in mind that split phase is coming back. Uh, so fairly interesting that they uh, they did bring it back. Um, this is the uh, the the build date on the transformer. That's not the build date on the inverter. They actually use these transformers in other inverters prior to this one. But um, so this is the actual build date uh, of the transformer, not the inverter. The inverter was actually made about a month ago, but uh, so this is uh, what I would consider to be maybe version 10.4 or even version 11, so to speak. Um, so after my thorough testing with the main boards, and we figured out that the main boards, uh, they can handle a lot more current than the transformers can handle. Uh, and it, it's not like it was, you know, on the edge or anything where, you know, this, this main board here is just barely can handle I took a 1500 watt main board uh, and I powered it all the way up to almost 4 kilowatts. Actually, it was over 4 kilowatts uh, before it decided to give out. So, uh, basically, this right here is their, uh, their midline, the 5 to 8 kilowatt main board. You can see they are smaller. Uh, they do use uh, higher powered FETs. And you can see on the uh, downside, there's a, um, a set of eight of these FETs here on this side. And there's a set of eight on the other side as well. Now you guys can't see that. Um, the new, some of the units do not come with LCD screens. Some of them actually do. All of these units have the high speed 24 volt fan. They're faster. They're Delta fans. They're faster than... Um, a, uh, a stock power jack fan of course uh, I guess you could call these stock anyway now um, now you can see where they placed the manual override fan switch here which I am NOT a fan of I, I don't like that they mounted that to this AC output block I really honestly don't like it they also put the temperature probe down underneath here now I had suggested that they put a temperature probe on the FED itself Apparently it wasn't understood too well because they put it quite literally underneath the FET. And uh, I, uh, I don't understand that, but um, we're, we're tweaking. It's better. It's in a better location than it was before. Uh, before they had it way up here. And, of course, this portion of the block is going to get, you know, it's going to be cooler than the bottom down here where the FETs are actually at. So I just suggest that they move it down here closer to the FETs. <laughs> In fact, on all my build inverters, I actually attach it directly to the FET so that it can pick up the FET temperature. And I always do it at the one that's the furthest away from the fan because that's the one that's going to be the warmest because it's receiving, you know, warmer air or less air than the one that's at the closest to the fan. So, yes, it is a smaller mainboard, um, but uh, it's going to be more than capable of handling the 6 kilowatts that they're going to throw at it. This board here is an all-in-one board. This is not SID's design. This is likely going to be the last PowerJack designed board. Um, I can't say that 100%, but uh, it's definitely, this design is coming up to its end. Um, it is still adjustable as far as voltage, but unfortunately you have to open the unit up. You can no longer adjust it from the front. So you do have to adjust the voltage on the inside, which I'm not really a fan of. Um, it did save them some cost on as far as having to, to, to mount everything up here in the front. So there's that. Um, from a technical standpoint, the CPU is capable of 
ATS and charge and stuff like that, but they have removed that in this design here. So there is no input on here at all, just the transformer input. Um, so yeah, it is, you know, it is what it is. It's a simplified board design. Now, Sid's new board that hopefully will be uh, out here in a couple of weeks. Sid's new board eliminates all this stuff, and it simplifies it dramatically. Um, so, looking forward to that. And yes, it will be compatible with all PowerJet converters. So, uh, here's the transformer. Now, this transformer, they're labeling this as an ASL-1 transformer. And... Um, Without testing it, this is a 24 volt, so I can't really test it up, but I'll be anxious. There is a 48 volt one that uh, I might be uh, testing and seeing if it'll actually handle it. So they, this is 16 gauge, as far as I know, this is 16 gauge copper, and then they have it spread out to 3 gauge uh, copper that leads to the, uh, the main board, uh, which is your input. So... Interesting choice. Um, again, I'd be curious to see just how well these perform. These transformer brackets are heavy duty. I mean, they're solid. Um, compare that to this, which I just happen to have one here. This thing is actually much thinner than this bracket here. So they did improve that. And it looks like they improved the screws or the bolts that will actually hold that in place. So I'm happy to see that they did make that change. Yep. So, um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It looks like uh, they used a double nut to keep it locked into place, so that's a good idea. Um, but, yeah, this is the new design, so I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I can't load test it all the way up to its max because I don't have uh, the 24-volt uh, the down converter right now. Um, but um, as far as this goes... Will it handle the 6,000 watts it's rated at? I don't know. Um, based on the size of the transformer, I would lean more towards maybe 3 to 4 kilowatts uh, continuous. Uh, if you remove this bracket and all this other stuff and allow the, the, uh, the transformer to vent, you could probably increase that. Unfortunately, there is no lid fan on these. Um, it does have a high-speed delta fan, but there's no lid fan, so it can't suck that hot air through and and you know pull it through so that's a little bit on the disappointing side but um yeah it is what it is um they're they're cheap and uh power jack is selling quite a few of these so um you know i think they're a decent inverter uh not exactly the best but they're um they're definitely better than what they were so Anyways, I uh, just wanted to showcase that to you guys. If you have any questions, let me know. 833-GENITRY, toll-free Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, genitrysolar.com. Pick out a Wi-Fi board. You can have a custom inverter built just for your needs. Uh, all sorts of other stuff on there. And, uh, yeah, so if you have any questions, let me know. Do keep in mind that my phone is always ringing. Thanks again for all your support. And take care.